hello in there. Fo had to had to focus. Had to have a little focus today. Chat the cameras had to focus because I'm moving and shaking today. I'm in a hype mode. I'm feeling busy. <laughs> I'm feeling crazy. It's gonna be fun today. And the camera's having a hard time keeping up with me. Can't can't keep up with me, camera. Let's go. Cal Riddle, 22 months of subbing. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Starting off hot today. So yeah, good morning, everybody. Hope y'all are doing okay. Hopefully, I'm I'm glad to see that y'all have power. I'm not making a joke. I'm not making light of the situation. That is going across the middle of the United States right now, where uh, these crazy, crazy winter storm is, is knocking a lot of power out and have it causing some problems. So I hope everyone's safe and sound. Hope your family's safe and sound. And uh, yeah, how's the weather by you? Um, we're good. We've had terrible storms. Uh, they all moved out, so it's just cold today. It's like low 30s and wind chill in the 20s. So it's it's okay. Like it'll be, you know, it'll be gone by tomorrow. Then we'll then it'll just rain again. It's been it's been a lot of rain. Snow in Alabama. Yeah, it's it's snowing in places it doesn't snow, like friends in Austin, Texas, getting like inches of snow. I did not get out the tactical beanie. I should have today. It would have totally matched what I'm wearing today. If you saw my shoes right now, they would uh, totally match the tactical beanie. Yeah, ah, that was a good call. Good call, Andrew. Totally opportunity missed because I had to go out to physical therapy this morning, so I was out, you know, with my jacket. I should... Man, I'll I'll have to say I'll have to. You need to see the shoes then, so I gotta take off my shoes. I gotta take off my shoe to show it to you. I guess I could just. I don't have to take it off. I can just kick back. So, whoops. Let's see if we can get them in the camera. Oh, too far, too far. So yeah, bright green Air Max camo. There you go. Was that sexy? I felt I felt like I was on like OnlyFans or something right there. Is this an OnlyFans stream now? I was a little interesting. Koba Thor, three months of subbing. Let's go. Thank you so much. They totally matched the beanie. It was a, a, Andrew was right. This was an opportunity missed. So yeah, I was a little uncomfortable with that chat. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I am totally not gonna lie. Made me feel things uncomfortable. So let's get back into it. I'm already wielding the knife of opening today because there's boxes to the left of me, boxes to the right of me. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. I have had, uh, I've been holding for y'all. I want y'all to know I did this for you. There's a pin in one of these boxes that's for me. I mean, Let's face it, it's all for me. But there's one pin I'm anxious about trying. There's other pins I've got in from review people. They thought Boxing Day was a Canada thing, it's a British thing. It's Pancake Day. Can someone explain the Pancake Day to me? I mean, I'm for it. I'm pro Pancake Day. Tony, 25 months of subbing. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Hammerton, thank you for the follow. Where, what was that? Was that it? Okay, that was Hammerton. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh... I, I got you, Yobo. I see you working there. Um, pancakes, man. Waffles for wa life. Or, I mean, are we going to have to do a pancake, waffles, French toast poll before we get started today? I kind of feel like at some point we're going to have to have a, have a poll. I mean, Bork and Bork, thank you so much. Appreciate the gift sub. You're amazing. I appreciate it. Um, speaking of amazing people... All of y'all, uh, amazing people that won giveaways last week. I shipped everything out uh, Sunday, dropped it off Sunday, so you should see them later this week. I also made the mistake of sending Susan, who writes for The Pen Addict, um, some ink. And then after I sent it, I saw her Instagram post of snow covering her house in Texas. So this could end poorly for me. No, because French toast doesn't go with those made of different stuff, but waffles or pancakes with abs. Oh, man. We're just going to have a fight today, right? Pancake day started as a way to eat all the ingredients you were giving up for Lent. So, they, just sugar and gluten. And it's going to snow again in Texas tonight. Oof. 
French toast absolutely goes with pancakes and waffles in the conversation. I mean, I, I understand your point, but as a breakfast food, they're completely categorized the same. Rich Sticks, thank you for the gift subs. I don't know what to say. You're awesome. I love the little the little monkey hard eyes guy that comes up in there. Um, is very cool. Um, um, we got a level two hype train. You should see eggs, milk, butter that were supposed to be a lot. Oh, get composted that. See, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking old enough. What about crepes? Um, I mean, that's fair. They're just not going to compete in that category, right? Um, and generally, and lots of times, crepes can be more savory, where you're not getting a lot of savory waffles, pancakes, and French toast. So, crepes, awesome. I don't think that's in the poll, right? Donuts, also another good option, not in the poll. Patrick is really on this pancakes and waffles only bent, and I, I appreciate you for that. But get composted. Thank you for the info. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I, I'm buying that. I'm buying that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to open one, two, three, four, five. I got six packages by my count. Um, I just ate before I came in here, so I'm good on the hungry. Otherwise, we probably would have already stopped this stream by now for, for me to go eat. So I stand by Gray's rule. French toast, waffles, pancakes, unless it's a sketchy restaurant which i can reverse it all right sign me up i will take that oh yeah i think patrick and i need to record uh, a podcast to just argue about breakfast foods home fries look now we're just gonna fight because home fries will never beat hash browns it's never going to happen. I mean, you can fight that fight as long as you want. You're always going to be on the losing side. You just are. Home fries are chunks in my world. They're like cubed where hash browns are shredded. So home fries is, is home fries and hash browns are massively different where I live. <clears throat> During COVID, all fries are home fries. What has happened to us today? I love this, but cubes are the bomb with onion and pepper. I mean, they are, unless your choice is hash browns, and then they're not. Home fries are different at every place. Hash browns are always the same. Pancakes are minimalist. Waffles are vanity. I like that, Yobo. I don't know if I... I don't know... I mean, I understand what you're saying. I like that concept. I could think about that. I, I could buy that. I literally just ate before I came in here. That's why Waffle House and Huddle House are the best. You get waffles and you also get the Lord's Potatoes, a.k.a. hash browns. <laughs> you can have some bad hash browns, sure. Wouldn't a crepe be more minimal than a pancake? I, I, I mean... A crepe is a vessel, right? A crepe is a container. So, I don't know. Hash browns should be on a hot dish, not just breakfast. Yeah, hash browns are, hash browns are not for breakfast only. Choo-choo. Oh, I got the new, uh, so this is the new, whoop, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I got the lizard, which is the new, uh, what's the thing? Cap, capo. Well, what's the difference, Liber Estet, uh, between U.S. pancakes or U.K. pancakes? That's what it got started because today was Pancake Day, and I'm trying to, and it was explained to me why Pancake Day is such, and that makes a lot of sense. But is there a difference in construction of a U.K. pancake uh, versus a U.S. pancake? U.K. pancakes are more crepe-like? Hmm. If I had to choose between waffles and pancakes for the rest of my life, it'd be waffles. Now, that's a good way to pose it. 
And I think I would choose waffles as well. I'm still going to take French toast, though. U.S. pancakes are fluffy. U.K. are more. Uh, what are we even doing? I, I mean, I love this, but some of y'all are probably like going crazy right now. It's like, open the damn packages, Brad. Open them. Oh, man. Baked beans? Yeah. I mean, I can do beans for breakfast if it's like Mexican style. I don't know, normally do like the baked beans, like the ketchup-y style beans. Raffle the unopened packages. <laughs> no. Do the packages contain breakfast food? One of them might contain hot sauce. Let's. Uh, I'll start getting this on with the two the two packages y'all don't care about um, as much as what's in the rest of the package, and we'll kind of get it uh, get it going. Uh, Caldo Verde, thank you for the prime sub. The cheerleaders didn't come up. Let's go. I'll cheer for you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> So I'm just going to open these. Um, I got two sticker mule orders because I needed to restock the knock and the pen addict stickers that I give. Some I sell, some I give away. I think this is all giveaway stuff for orders and things. And they just came in last night and I just stuck them with all the other stuff I needed to open. So this won't be exciting. So I'd at least get us, get us on the right track. Although there is one new thing in one of these box. I love that we're fighting what to fight about. Yeah. Breakfast. Okay, here's a fight. Breakfast is the best meal of the day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Or or we could even argue about what you call lunch and what you call dinner. You know, supper and all that crap. Um, we could have lots of arguments. So this is just the pen. I, I restocked the... Um... Oh, Brad, I talked to Sean, Sean Newton. Oh, that's smarter than I even would have thought about. Like, I was just trying to figure out who to ask. Nobody has Coco Vin for breakfast, says who? It's absolutely breakfast. <laughs> I think they made a mistake. <laughs> I've never, as for all the sticker mule orders I've gotten, I've never gotten like the prototype, like this is the one you should match. This is like the master sticker. I've never gotten like <laughs> this thrown in the order. That's hilarious. This is... I have never seen this before, and I've ordered like a dozen things from Sticker Mule, so that's pretty funny. So I think that's all that's in here. So I was, uh, I give these away for pen addict orders, and since we had like a bunch of the uh, notebooks sold, the pen addict write notepads notebooks, I had to order, I reorder these, so that's pretty cool. You can have cold pizza for breakfast. That kind of counts. Breakfast still wins, though. I, absolutely. Cold pizza is breakfast is for breakfast. Cold pizza is not for lunch or dinner. <clears throat> A knock sticker cylinder. I don't know what that means. Oh, and here's... Uh, uh, sticker mule pack ins but this is great i've never gotten one of these before thank you sticker mule it's a, it could also be a monocle so that's cool all right this one that was the pen addict order oh wrist wrist is wrist is still working from uh pt this morning so that was a re that was a reorder. I yes, I love those stickers. The holographic PA stickers are badass. Yes, so those just come with orders. I don't sell those. If you order something, I throw them in the package. Oh, when you held up the pile of Knox stickers and they were all on a cylinder. Gotcha. So that was the pen addict order. This is the knock order from Sticker Mule. I had to stop ordering. I had to take the mule sauce. Uh, they send you a bottle of hot sauce with every order over a certain amount and like it's a pretty low dollar amount i had to i have so many of them i had to stop i had to take them off the order maybe i should give those away maybe i should keep giving them and i'll add the uh, mule sauce into the uh into the raffles yeah <laughs> are they any good the the sauce the mule sauce it's fine like i'm not a hot sauce connoisseur right so um like it's like a it's like a Texas Pete type thing. All right, so I did a couple of different things, and these are all going to be for the um, these are going to be pack ins. How is it with eggs? Like it's fine with eggs. Like it's good. 
it's fine. But like I said, I, I would rather have like Tabasco or, you know, um, in, in the South we have a crystal. How hot? Not very. Medium. So I'll start ordering them and then I'll, I'll stop taking them out of my order. So now I need to order more baggies. So I got little baby knock stickers. These are actually smaller than I thought they would be. Little baby knock stickers to go with a big back batch of. Uh, so Sticker Mule was doing these new pens. I know you can't see that because it's a little too bright. So it's like a little acrylic pen guy, P I N pen. So like, but they're inexpensive, right? They're not like the. Um, the metal ones, like the brass ones or pewter or whatever they're made out of. So they're pretty cheap. They're like a dollar or maybe, yeah, they're about a dollar each, they're, which is expensive when you buy 500 of them. But instead of like, they would normally like the metal ones are like $6 cost or $8 cost, right? So I just got these and they're going to go with these, which these stickers are smaller than I thought. I must not have adjusted it. But they're going to go in the uh, Kickstarter orders. So there's just a little pack in for the Kickstarter orders. But that, but now that I see them, I need to get little individual baggies. Um, but they did a good job. I, I like them. They're just different. Um, this must be a new sticker mule thing because I got another one. This is all new. They've never sent these little things in their boxes before. Or they had someone new fill in the orders. Remove protective film. Each piece includes a protective film to prevent scratching. Okay, so there's like a film over the top of each of the little pins. So it's just the little plastic thing that goes on here. And I'm going to, um, these are going to go in the, the wax canvas. Yeah, time to order some drug baggies. I do, I have those already for the, um, for the memberships. So I'm well versed in the drug baggy uh, trade. So yes, I will order the dime bags. Stick in the hollow panetic sticker on the notebook. Nice. Did you get your member chip? All right, so these, and if I have any left over, I'll just start putting them in the, oh, they look like googly eyes when you look at them this way. We'll put these in the, uh, yeah, this is a code word uh, stream, Alan. Got your chip and in ink, good. So, the stickers are small, but small's cool sometimes. Like, I generally prefer small stickers anyway, because you can stick them in, in, in hideaway places that you, that you don't normally see. So, now i got to order my dime bags to pack all these in. That's going to be a pain. That's fine. Y'all are worth it. Y'all are worth it. I haven't started that shipping process yet. I'm dreading it. I'm dreading pulling down the spreadsheet and importing it into ShipStation. That's the, the biggest hang up is pulling down addresses and formatting the spreadsheet um, into import into ShipStation. It's usually, that's an hours long worth of fight. All right. That's what kid labor is for? Yes, the kids will do that. Like, the kids build out all the refills for spoke. Like, we have to uh, put the spring and the O-ring on each indiv individual Uniball Jetstream refill. So the kids do that. Um, $8 an hour. Y'all can come work for me. Tax-free. They're not paying taxes on that. That's $8 cash per hour. Let's go. It's like found money. I used to make I used to make them give me two dollars per hour to put excuse me to put in savings, but I was too lazy. All right, let's make some people mad. Well-appointed pigeons. 
in all serious though support the general strike today that's right there is a uh, 15 dollars minimum wage general strike going on today that's a good point i forgot about that i do support that 15 dollars minimum wage have you met my kids they are not worth that i hope they're listening today they're off today it's a school holiday today are y'all listening tyler elizabeth if not, you should be. I need the viewer count. Put them on the books. Make them pay taxes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, so Anna, Anna feels my energy today. Um, that swinging big dowdy energy is what she wrote. <laughs> That's what she wrote on my packing list. <laughs> that swinging big dowdy energy. <laughs> so, um, yes, that's amazing. Um, looks like I got a bonus. Uh, <laughs> looks like I got some bonus entries in, into this. We'll go through the bonus. We'll go through the bonus packing um, second because I know you want to see the first. And it is the vintage paper. So when she launched the vintage paper um and raved about it like she did i knew i had to order some because like that's my stuff i like that a5 pad i like that they have character right they had there's a story about them right so like they have the um apologies for the, the crumbles they have um you know this vintage aspect to them in this found paper so um what i'm gonna make mad people mad about I ordered four packs, but I do that for y'all. Like I want my, I got two packs for me and two packs for y'all, not on stream. We're going to give away these on the site because we need to promote Anna as much as humanly possible. So these are not, um, these won't be stream giveaways, but I'll make it up, up to you. Um, so the first batch sold out. I think she might've already had a second batch come up. Um, they're just dope. They're you know, well made, made by my friends. Um, they're beautiful. And I don't know, I like I can't say enough cool things about this this project and this product. So uh y'all want me to open one up here? Let's show you what the paper's at. They the first batch sold out. I thought she might have put some more up. They're not gone. They're just not all assembled yet, right? But the paper was limited. The paper was only what she could uh what she could access. So it's it's a A5 pad. It's got ooh, it's got uh, guide guide rules. I'll get those out in a second. So the paper has the scoring type of lines here. So the blue has blue lines in the top and bottom, and the red has red. So it's like a double line up here, and then a single at the bottom. Um, and then it's a, a glue bound pad at the top. Fifty sheets. Fifty sheets. Five by five by eight by five. So A5 ish. I'll yell at her for that, but there's a reason um, U.S. companies make this size paper. Um, and then the guide sheets for, which I do use guide sheets, like the ink review I did yesterday, the Pen BBS 404 Ink Not Found. Um, I use a guide sheet on the Claire Fontaine. Um, you can't see the guide sheet through there, but it's a really neat paper. I can see the watermark on here. It says... A sleek, clean erase, something or other. E mount, thank you for the follow. Which is, uh, yeah, a sleek, clear erase, fluorescent white erasable bond, twenty five percent cotton cockle finish. I mean, those are words that mean something to somebody, but not me. It means something to Anna. Beautiful. Um, I'll give I'll give these away next week on the blog. Check the blog today. I'm giving away the um, Blackwing Volume 6. If someone would be kind enough to put that in the chat, um, today's giveaway, in case you've missed it, go in the chat, check it out, hit the link, sign up for a dozen of the Volume 6, which is the red and blue, um, small business. So that's why I'm giving the way these away on stream. Like I'll keep these two for me. Thank you, Miss G's Crafties. Um, and then I'm giving away two, two, 
listeners so I can also link to Anna's site and promote her small business because that's what I do. So that's why I buy four. Um, you know, that's what I do. That's the move. All right, so I think there's some extra stuff in here besides the normal stickers and bookmarks. So I got the stickers and bookmarks and the pigeon, um, you know, little pack-in stuff. Her stamps are crack a right now. They look really good. So there's something in here that I, I think she wrote on the res, on the packing list to put in here. Ooh, it's pins. Um, so we're going to call these bird pins so we don't get sued. So I'll probably give these away. Y'all don't need my face leaning up in there as much. So these are bird pens. They're not anything but bird pens. You shall not refer to them as anything but bird pens. Please keep that in mind. So I'll give the um, I'll give the bird pens away when I do um, the paper giveaway next week. So stay tuned for that. Looks vaguely familiar. Could be. Could be. So we'll give those away to next week's winners. All right. Coffee break. So I have two packages with lots of stuff in them. And then I have one package with one thing in it. We're going to do the single package uh, next. But we need a break. Let's yell about breakfast some more. It's a Pokemon. It is a Pokemon. We are doing giveaways today, by the way. Just not until I get done opening all this stuff. I have something cool to give away today. I think you'll like it. How is this possible? All right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, Pelicanus, Pelican US got blocked by the auto mod because it said anus. And there was even a space in it. It's a very strict moderation rule. A pelicant nib. So don't write pelican US in the chat or the chat bot will yell at you. <laughs> because it's A-N space US. I was like, why is... I was sitting here going, why is this held? Oh, Okay. Very strict on the mods. All right. This is from my good friends. There have been a lot of fake pen Insta accounts lately. Have there been? It's from my good friends at Kenro Industries. You may have known this. But you may not have known this. They are now officially, as of like a month ago, the US distributor of Auto Hut. Now, that was unrelated to my Design 03 review that I did. Um, I bought that pen obviously a long, long time ago. Um, but well before I even knew anything about them being the distributor for it. But needless to say, they were excited that I. And had been enjoying my auto hut. So when they took on the brand, they emailed me. Said, hey, would you like to try a different model than your 03? And I'm, yeah, I would. I would like to try a different model than my 03. Automod does not like Latin. Hey, Brooks, what's up, buddy? Oh, Okay, before I continue on the auto hut path, I saw Brooks has the emote here. So I did the emote stuff last week. <clears throat> so I am gonna work with Inky Converters. The issue I have right now is I'm only limited to five emotes. So if and when I do happen to make partner one of these years, I'll get like a billion more emote slots. So I'm still gonna get Angela to make me like at least five new emotes. We can switch out the pen. The pen takes up four emote slots, and then the Brad, hey, um, takes up one. So we can rotate them. So I'm going to get her to make me five, 
and then we'll put in five new ones just to have fun with. You know, her stuff's so silly, and it'll be perfect for this. Um, but it's going to be like a month or two because she's real tied up with school right now. But um, that's what we're going to do. So that's the emote plan. I still don't have an ink drops plan, though. So at least we got one plan out the way. I did do something last week, chat, that I said I was going to do. All right. Back to the auto hut. Can we flip out the pin or make a short pin? Yeah, since it comes in four sections, you can build it however you want. So can you make an extra long pin? Ooh, this one's fancy. Hey, good morning, Tessa. So this is, I need, I didn't, what's the name of this one? This is the Blue Wave or Wave Blue. Yeah, there we go, Stretch. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Gino Fratelli, thank you for the follow. Okay, I haven't seen anyone make the like the giant snake pen. So what we're going to do, um, we'll rotate out the pen for... Uh, the pin and the, the way for some new ones. So, all right. Um, box, fancy, fancy box. Nice. Yeah. Nice presentation box. I, I kind of like it. Very, uh, very Apple esque. Just the, uh, the slip box like that. Right. So that was cool. Um, I did that on purpose. Um, it's got, uh, the, got like these thick cards and I guess it's the warranty the instructions on how to do things it's got a cleaning cloth and it has the auto hut uh, branded converter all these are like I'll show you this because it's you'll I'll probably won't put this in the review if I do it although it's kind of cool it's just all this stuff is everywhere so it's like all built in like the bottom of the box it's all got like places and pieces and parts in there <laughs> i like all the emotes that y'all are using all right so this is the pen let's see again this is the wave blue um it's got good weight to it so let's see we might need to put on the other cam for it it's really pretty this is the this screw okay this screws all right i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the uh i'm gonna switch cameras here real quick and I think I probably need the white background, huh? Well, let's just try this. <laughs> Rewizzles, I like that one. That one wins. <clears throat> let's see if I can just show it on here. Um, and get some half decent lighting. No, of course. So, the wave pattern, influencer hands. doesn't like my influencer hands today y'all can't see the wave but it's like a silver wave I do this is an overhead cam it's just a crappy one so anyway you'll see that better in pictures later but that that color blue is at least more bright it just really doesn't like the shiny waves in there there you can see them a little bit if I get it out of the light, you can kind of see how the waves are kind of kind of wild looking. What material is that? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. It's like lacquered. There's not texture here, so it's like lacquered over. Whatever this design is, is lacquered over. This is a gold nib. I'm guessing this is a 14... guessing this is Let's see if we can oh, influence our hands I need an emote that says influence our hands come on <laughs> there it is it's a fine it's a very pretty nib I'm assuming this is 14k but I don't see any markings on there. Let's see. You can see the pattern a little bit better there. 
hard to tell. So, um, what well, uh, Thunder Viking? The grip looks pretty skinny. Yes. So if you saw my Design 03 review, it is pretty skinny, which means I'm gonna like it, but it may not be for you, right? It may not be for everybody. So, and it, it does taper slightly, then it comes into here to a, a lip here at the end. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to see if there's like, no, there's no markings. But I'll look on the side, I don't know, 14K, 18K nib. This is a number five nib. So this is a smaller, smaller nib, which goes with the thinner section, right? It's designed to be a certain way. God, that makes it look worse. Right? So it's really kind of got that same shape and feel as the Design 03 that I reviewed last week. 14K or steel nib. Thank you, Alan. So this is, I'm guessing this looks like gold nib. 18K or steel. Okay. Usually that, like this was a, it looks like a gold nib, right? I think it's a gold nib. Anyway, um, I like the size, fit, feel, the, uh, the posting. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> You're not going to want to post this. Boing. Right, that's that's a big one. I mean, it's technically postable. Like, see, it's made to do that, but you're not gonna want to do that. But it's long enough when you hold it. So yeah, this is gonna be cool. I like it. Oh, let me open this up. You're guessing it's steel since there isn't any gold number on it. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Oh, here's the fake uh, cartridge, so you can get out the real cartridge. There it is. And I would think it would say if it was gold on the, like on the labeling, right? But it doesn't say steel or gold. But you usually don't see, that gold plating looks pretty good for a steel nib. You know how you can usually kind of tell the difference? It looks pretty good. So I'll figure that out. Oh, maybe, is there any paperwork in the box? Nope, no paperwork. Yep. All right, so I'll get that sorted out. But regardless, looks good. I mean, this is classic German style, but with a little bit modern flair with the um, with the blue wave. So I like it. Looks good. All right. So that's that. Even in steel, it's a two hundred eighty dollar pen. So maybe it is steel. Is that 280 MSRP or is that like 280 minus, uh, is that already MS, is that street price already figured in as 280? <clears throat> 280 at farties, farties. So yeah, we'll see. 280. This is the steel nib, steel nib 280. We'll see, it's close, right? I mean, it looks like it's got a lot going on. It's pretty, pretty good, pretty steep ask. 200 for steel, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, 280, it's for steel. I, I'm all about that, that seems, that seems right. 420 for 18k. I mean, that's the price of gold these days. $220 difference. Yeah, I mean, it probably costs them. How much do you think these nibs cost them? I don't know. Four to blaze it. Probably a pretty good amount. All right, I will sort that out. I will report back. Uh, I'm also out of room to put stuff. All right, let's do this one next. Cool. All right, now we have some multi-box adventures here. Former listener of the podcast came across this channel by chance. Very cool. Now you can be a renewed listener to the podcast now that you found the stream. But no, thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Glad you found it. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we're doing some unboxings. Um, this one is jet pens, I believe. We're doing jet pens. Who was that? Power Belly 51, 23 months of something. Let's go. Thank you so much. I'm dreading to have to restock my gold nibs for stock your Rishi pins. Yeah, that's a, that's a pain point. That is a pain point for sure. That is just like one of those cash outlays that it's just like, and you go, you go like here, like it's all right here. Here's all this money in your hand right here. Oh, let's do this blindly. Blind taste test. All right, let's stick it over here. I'll probably bang the bang the microphone once or twice while I'm doing this, but I like doing it blindly. So this one, this was jet, jet pens, right? Yeah, all right, this is from jet pens. Um, this is just some stuff I picked out on the site. This is all active site stuff. This isn't any, this isn't the preview package that I get from them sometimes. So this is just actively purchased package. All right, so I bought the Traveler's um, notebook. This is the brown leather, what do they call it? Like the starter kit? Because this is going to go into the Pen Attic members giveaway this weekend. So I have the Twisby Eco Golden Horse with the Traveler's Notebook um, for giveaway to the Pen Attic members. I'm going to try something different this this weekend with the Pen Attic members. For those of you who are members, I do giveaways once a month. And I've actually had several winners not reply and it, including me reaching out to them so i'm going to try to use the gleam um build in that i use for the pen out of giveaways on the blog and i'm going to try to make you actively sign up for the giveaway if that doesn't work i'll just do a google sheet that way i know i have a better chance of giving this to someone who is paying attention right like i appreciate the support and and not paying attention but like now i have like pens and stuff that i've been trying to give away and that i've bought and paid for that are just sitting here so i'm, I'm gonna do some re-giveaways here pretty soon uh yeah but i usually email i will like you don't have to email me like i like to let you see it if you do win but then if you don't reply in a few days i'll email you say hey read the newsletter so, um, so I will go, I will try to, I'm going to do a more interactive giveaway than just drawing a name every week. I'm going to make you go either click on the gleam thing or fill in, um, a good, like a Google sp spreadsheet that I'll just overwrite every time. So anyway, brown leather cover, traveler's notebook, Twisby gold Nico. Um, let me just make sure. All right, cool. I like it. DDCC, it wrote. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Gleam is sweet. Gleam has been very good. They did just do a little switchy upgrade thing. Um, I, I'm on the free plan, and like that's all I need. But I had written a terms and conditions that was a real simple terms and conditions, and now they removed the chance, the opportunity to edit the terms and conditions unless you go to a paid tier. I'm like whatever so i just use the default terms and conditions no one reads those things anyway oh this is my pen all right um this is what i told you about last week i ordered this for myself specifically for me because of that right there can you read that in my forehead can you read it can you read it uef for some reason safari needs, seems to not work with gleams visit brad's ig anymore hmm i don't know Google form takes more effort. It does, but it's. Be I would rather spend that effort. I'm already spending that effort to pick the winner for them to not reply. It's worth pick the effort if I can get someone to take it. Japanese, uh, Japanese. Did Japanese change their packaging? Did Platinum change their packaging? This is the first new Platinum pen I've bought in a while. So it's got like this all black packaging now. Did it used to be blue? It's nice, nice. It's like a cardboardy feeling paper box. 
ever tried the Mont Blanc pens? Yes, I have two. I have the classic 149, and then I have the mini uh, Bohem, which I prefer. That's what your 3776 came in last April. That's how long it's been since I've ordered like a standard uh, platinum. Like the special edition ones come in there. Uh, no, you don't have to go check. They used to be blue and gold. Um, so yeah, this is the Chartres Blue Rhodium Trim UEF Nib. <laughs> Periscan, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. All of y'all who are new to the channel, just joining we're doing some unboxing stuff right now. At the end, I'm going to give away some stuff. So y'all should hang out for that. It's a new thing I do do now. Yeah, black doesn't really work there. It's hard to see the blue. I need... Um, do I get the whole pad out? Let's see if it works. UEF can be awesome or not. I think that's fair. More light... I really do need more light. I need I need adjusted lighting situations is what I need. So yeah, so this is the blue with the rhodium trim. Um, the UEF, it's a risk. Like who was saying that just seconding it? Uh, who was saying that? Uh, oh, Andrew. Yeah, UEF can be a risk. Influencer hands. Because it is so tiny and fragile and unable to focus, there it is. So it's very, it's a very needly tip. This is not for everyone. This is never a pen I recommend. I need an influencer light ring. My daughter probably has one. So I bought this specifically for me to test out the UEF. I've tried one probably five years ago. I didn't have to have it at the time. But the more I enjoy writing in when in like my smaller handwriting, the more I wanted that. Yeah, I imagine it's gonna be very different than the PO, and the PO is one of my personal favorite nibs. And I imagine these are not gonna be comparable at all. I need lights on arms. I need the I need the glasses with the lights, like the like the fishing vest guy. I need the the flip flippy downies and uh laser you laser you out. So um UEF and Sabi Togi convinced me that their Sailor XF is narrow as I need. The Sabi Togi, I couldn't quite get used to the scratchiness. I'd probably need to buy one and use it more. Hey, Cocolina. Ooh, smoke detectors. What's a PO is a posting nib, so it's the one that looks like a, a hook. So it like points down. So, um, and it's very firm and fine. Add lights to the ballistic beanie. That's the mil that's the play. Just get the beanie with the flashlight right there. So I actually bought a desk lamp, and I thought it was USB powered, so I could hit it with some more light. Diamond purple. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Let's go. Let's go. Sub XF gets too dry for me. I like to see the character of the ink. That's why I generally just go with blue black. When I'm writing with a pen this fine, I will take either blue black or really bright blue. I won't put like a very character driven ink in there for that exact reason. You don't get that, you don't get sheening and shade much with a pen that fine. So there you go. I will be inking this up probably today. Um, I got to decide which ink because I did fix my Nakaya, y'all. I will put it up on Instagram. And that has the Mount Fuji blue black ink um, in it. So I'm not going to use that. I just inked up um, that Tabaldi pen I got last week with black pilot ink. So that's that. So I got to think about what I'm going to ink this up with. I don't know. I kind of want to do black. What was wrong? I had to have it, give it a stern talking to. I had to be aggressive with it. I, sh I shook it vigorously was in the end and it's flown perfectly ever since. I just didn't want to do that, right? But I ended up going in the kitchen, grabbing a paper towel, wrapping it up tight and then packing a dip on it. Then it worked. And it hasn't, I mean, and it's it's been perfect ever since. Like no stops, no starts nothing um so whoever was talking about the lighting in here it is dark 
Like my whole room is dark except these lights on me right now. So it's actually the desk needs a little bit more brightness because the lighting is set to go this way. Um, so the desk gets is it a little more in the shadow. So there you go. So I'll be thinking about yes, the Nakaya is back. When I started writing with it, it that's one of that's like like one of my one, number one or two number two pins, right? So when I started writing with it, it was like. Like, that's how much I enjoy that pen. All right, what's next? All right, we have a box of goodies here. So this let's let's hold that till last. Let me see if there's anything else in here that's uh, loose. Ooh, we got to read the Jet Pens cartoon. You know, that's the important part. All right, let's read the cartoon. This could be terrible. All right, Psst. pass this pen to Jenny. Psst. Oh my, this paper is amazing. 50 GSM and no bleed through at all. <laughs> nice, it says pass this to Jenny, not pass this pen. It says pass, pass this to Jenny. So he's passing a note in class. And Jenny says at the end, this paper is amazing. 50 GSM and no bleed through at all. We're all Jenny, aren't we? We are all Jenny. All right, what is this? Oh, this is a weird thing. This is just a weird thing I saw on the site. Um, so it's this, it's literally called a slim liner fountain pen. And it's got like a narrow, it's probably like as narrow as a pencil. Maybe a little thicker than a pencil. This is that, um, that's that Bic pen, uh, Enso Bic pen. And I guess I'll take it out of here. And it has a uh, really tiny nib. But it looks like a full size cartridge. Let's see. Packaging is doo doo. So it's like a full size cartridge in here. And look at the nib. It's like a pilot vanishing point nib. Influencer hands, come on. There it is. So that reminds me of like the Pilot Vanishing Point nib. It's about that thickness. Okay. Full size converter. Just right into the nipple. Are tiny nibs the same as thin nibs? No. Because this will not write a thin line, right? You can tell on the end of this pen, there's a ball. Influencer hands. On the end of this pen, there's a ball. So it's actually going to write, this is probably like a Japanese medium or wider. Might be a Japanese broad. I wonder if it says. But you're getting this to be like a tiny, tiny fountain pen. It is very small. But does it give a nib size? Nothing that I can read. Oh, here it is, medium. So, there you go. So yeah, um, what brand is it? It's something generic, I don't even know. Point, Point Corporation. I don't know who that is. It's like the old Pilot Birdie fountain pen, yeah. Pilot birdies are even smaller, I think. I haven't tried it. So, <laughs> so I'm going to give it a interesting. I don't know what I think about it yet, but it's, it's interesting. It can't be that expensive either, right? I already chucked the thing. Like, there's no way this was more than like 12 bucks or so, right? 
Oh, there's no price on here. Y'all have to look it up. It's called the Meister by Point. Black medium nib. So someone can look it up. But there's no there's no price on here. So yeah, I don't know the I don't know the cost. Like I said, and I can't imagine this was that much if, if I recall from when I ordered it. I want to say like 12 bucks, but I'm not even sure. All right, and then I had some uh, who knows who knows what else I ordered in here. I just looked at the thing. I just don't know what it what it is. Looks like a sophisticated emot. Maybe. Oh. And another bottle of ink. <laughs> That's just what I need. Sailor Manio ink. And then a box full of something I ordered. <clears throat> All right. What ink did I get? I think this was the new blue black ink, just to compare with all the other Sailor Blue Black inks I have. This is in the Manio lineup, and in the Manio round two, there's that pen. How much is it? Someone click on that. My mouse is too far away. How much is that pen? Thirteen fifty. Yeah, I was right. About twelve bucks. So makes sense. Um, Sailor Manio round two had a blue black in it it's the i guess i don't i don't know that i would even call this a blue black it's just a darker blue it's the kikyo blue <clears throat> and for all the sailor inks i've tried over the years i have never tried kikyo and i have a nakaya that's kikyo blue and i want to see how close it was to being a match to that it's probably pretty close um we're not going to swab it today. We'll save that for another day. We'll do, we're will do. we going to do a bunch of Sailor ink swabs one day, maybe even this week. Um, I just don't feel like making a mess right now. So, yeah. It's like it's a dark blue. You know. You know me. But I wanted to give that a go. Super swab Saturday. We need to, um, if I'm ever going to make Twitch partner, we need to add in a Twitch stream like Monday night or something. So I've been thinking about that. Kikyo was round one? Really? How did I miss that? Well, then I'm a, just a big dummy. Why wasn't that the first ink I ordered? Huge mistake on my part. Thank you, um, Rewizzles, for sorting that out for me. All right. So this is a... Um, this is the Pilot Fure Fure, which is their shaker pencil lineup. So this is a mechanical pencil. I don't know that I've ever seen a me shaker mechanical pencil with a 0.3 um, lead. So it's a thinner barrel than their normal Fure Fure, which I like. Um, and then has the shaker tip influence your hands for the point three lead for as much as i like my small um fountain pens oh and retractable retractable pipe too so much as i like my small fountain pens i generally stop at 0.5 on mechanical pencils point three is a little fragile um but i thought this was a good price i remember it being pretty inexpensive it's a cool style it's a shaker and it's point three like these are all the little things that make me want to try a product, right? Like the little weirdness like that um, goes into my into my head. Sailor Shalana is the tiniest nib I had. That's the comparison. There you go. And I think this is even wider barreled than the Shalana. I think. Like I just out of memory, this looks wider than the Shalanas. I could be wrong on that though. Definitely, yeah. So, good point. Thank you, Sarah. Very good. Do you have a Sailor Shalana? Maybe I'll send you... Is that something you used to have? I'll sh I should send you this one to compare it to. Even though I've destroyed the packaging. Alright. We got one more box to go. And then we'll do some giveaways. Um, man. It's a nice tip on that pencil. Sorry. 
I get distracted by fancy things. Sharpened pencils are fancy things in my book. All right, so that was jet pens. <clears throat> Let me clear some space. Now we have gold spot. What's that sticker? Oh, it's a heart sticker. What does it say? Can't read that. It says something pen. Gold spot. Oh, it says gold spot. It's just hard to read. Gold, gold spot pens, and it's got a heart in it. See? Cool. All right. Let me get this open. That's what she said. Man, the whole stationary industry is is uh, one big uh, innuendo. I know. Don't cut towards you. It is a super cute sticker. All right. All righty. Big giveaway today in a minute. I, I'll, I'm wondering if y'all are going to like this. I think you're going to like this. What I give away. I'm not giving it away yet, but it's at the top of the stack. That's the only reason why I'm giving it away, or else I probably would have seen it. <clears throat> All right. I don't totally remember what's in here. So let's figure it out. Let's figure it out together. It's an ink bottle of orangeness. Is this Tasha? Big value, big size. Uh, yes to both. Like it's a it's an outlier of things I'll be giving away for sure, cost wise. All right, so this is is this Tasha? No, this is Laban. So this is uh, Laban Apollo Inc. There were some. Um, I bring light and warmth, the color of the sun. Bold and true healing ink. So this ink has healing properties. Yeah, really great box. Like, look at this. Refill your soul by writing. They're getting into it now. Don't worry, those things make me dizzy too. So yeah, cool packaging. Let's take a look. Wow, there's even more words. Ink the color of dawn to shine truth into darkness, warmth into cold, to write and salute a new day. Mm. Just take that in for a minute, chat. Let's think about that. Okay, we good? All right. Bum, bum, bum. So this is a bright orangey yellow. I mean, this is just called Apollo Orange, which looks pretty great. I mean, that's a cool bottle. I like my basic square bottles. Oh, my wrist is, I can't. <laughs> dong, did I say the, the color of dong? Oh, we had to switch to the other wrist for that one. Sorry, dawn, down, sorry. All right, so there it is. We're not gonna swab these today, chat, sorry. You're just gonna have to wait and see. You're gonna have to wait and see later. So yeah, pretty neat, huh? Very complicated box situation going on here. Very, um, they like printed on all sides of the thing. Like that was a lot of printing to get this box made. Like interior, exterior, all the things. I'm glad y'all like my ink poetry. All right, we'll keep Apollo here for a second. Kaveco. I think I know what this is. And if it is, I'm going to be pretty happy about it. So Automod is okay with Dong, but not with Pelican US. Well, we've already accepted it. We, If we allow the term, we've certainly allowed that at some point. So. Oh, it held that? That's funny. But yeah, once we unblock it, it's it's allowed. Um, These new Kaveco boxes are different. They're like raised. They changed the boxes again, which is cool. Like this is a raised, uh, 
pin now on the box instead of like they were used to be flatter. That's kind of cool. So this is should be the gold spot exclusive. It is. This blue is killer, right? That is a good looking blue. That is a good looking blue chat. Translucent dark blue. That's just pretty. I mean, you know my stance on the Kaveco Sports. They're they're my Skittles. They're my they're kind of my one of my vices. It's at least an inexpensive vice, less inexpensive vice than some others. How does it compare to the Kaveco? I didn't get a 10 at all. Really? That's weird. Um, how does the Kaveco compare to the Platinum? The Platinum is going to be much brighter. Same, just a box. Yeah. Y'all are making me feel special over here. I like feeling special. Sorry about that. Yeah, the uh, cardboard packaging, that does not surprise me. So these are very different colors to me, even though the lighting's not showing them that well. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell that. But the, the Platinum has some brightness to it, and the Gold Spot has some depth and darkness so not really the same but yeah this looks great um and i got a special box <laughs> maybe the 10s arrived late well maybe it's like like when i ordered my 849s right um yeah congrats on the uef i got it now i can be like you make awesome artwork psych <laughs> Um, just like when I got my Karen Dashes, right? The 849s for the Pin Addict. They come with no, with no packaging whatsoever. Okay. And then I could order the 10s, you know, those sweet Karen Dash, like really thin, super sleek metal 10s. They would cost, cost me like three or four dollars, like three fifty maybe. Or I can get the little cardboard boxes for like 40 cents like i had to pay for like everything it was like a definitely a like a they will get you in every which way possible um and i imagine it's the same with kaveco if you want just the pen if you want the pen with the cardboard box or you want the pen with the tin um so maybe they just had an extra tin laying around for this one all right a retro this might be a retro i think i know what this is i think i asked for this i have a long story about this that i might save for the review man that's cool packaging oh no this is okay so this is the periwinkle pixie this is the um, the gradient. I think the purple purple to pink gradient. I, I've never seen the packaging. That's why I was I was so. That's why I had paused there because the packaging is really cool. <clears throat> the the belly band here. So I'm not gonna open this right now, but it's the uh, <laughs> last retro ever. <laughs> give them to me um yeah so this is the um that set of the there was like four colors where they had the uh gradient colors in there i think this one goes from purple to pink if i'm not mistaken so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna review that one it's been a long time since i reviewed a retro 51 because there's not much to say but uh i wanted to talk about this one specifically I have some specific things to say about it and some good things. <clears throat> Tempted by the purple ombre, but have behaved. They were able to, able to do them for a pretty good price. Neck red. Thank you for the follow. 
who makes this notebook. All right, so this is a notebook by who? Nebula Notebook, Premium Note, Ruled, Lavender Blue. Oh, Colorverse. I was trying to figure out who. I knew some brand had done these. So this is in conjunction with Colorverse, the Nebula Premium Note. Has anyone tried these yet? It's just something I saw and I uh, thought would be a good review item. Maybe for Sarah, since she, she fills up notebooks like uh, once a month. <clears throat> and it's lined. So yeah, Nebula Note. I don't know. 90 gram ink proof. It says ink proof. That's funny. White paper. Made in Korea. Colorverse. This is a Colorverse collaboration. Yeah, the color is awesome. Right? It's like this. Would this be periwinkle? It's kind of bluish purple. Lavender blue is what they call it. But yeah. That's cool. Like that's something that's like a definitive review product. Like something new, something collaborative with Colorverse. Who knows what the paper's going to be like. Let's see what they got. Right? So that's what that is. So that should be cool. Oh, one more thing. Actually, I need... Yeah, never mind. Got it. Oh, look. I got an extra sticker. I'll... Sarah gets that too. Sorry, chat. She said she liked it. She gets it. I love you all equally, though. Just Sarah more. All right, last one. Echo Songs, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Reasonable price, yeah. I'd love to see more brands and products out of Korea. They're doing some good stuff. Everyone gets a hollow sticker today, yeah. True. Um, last one is another ink. God, that hurt. This is... I haven't bought any of the Sailor um, State Series inks yet, just because they haven't been like super compelling. I mean, they're all fine, right? But like, I mean, this is from the guy who also bought an orange ink and a dark blue ink, saying that the other fancy inks haven't been as compelling. I I, I realize I'm a walking contradiction, so but work with me here. This one. The Delaware color, when I saw the ink swab of that one, it was ridiculous. Like, it was wild-ass magenta gold sheen. It just seems like a really rad color. So, <clears throat> I am all about that. So, you got exciting Delaware. Yeah. So, this is pretty sick. Um, I Yeah, I wonder what George is going to be. I hope it's not peach, but I'm guessing it's peach. Peach is like, actually one of, the, um, one of the ink colors. I'm not... A super fan of um i like pink but peach gets into a range that that i don't really love like pink and orange are like two of my favorites but when you mix them and it's lighter we'll see i could eat my words can't diss delaware with biden in office right well this color go look at the ink swabs we'll test them later but these have like mega sheen on them they're stunning so this one um uh, Oh no, I'll I'll I'm a huge peach fan, just not in my fountain pens. You know, fresh peaches, peach ice cream, peach cobbler, peach anything. Give me all the peaches, just not in my fountain pen ink. So there you go. I mean, what's Alabama's fruit? Oh, don't start singing that. All right. Unboxings are over. That was a lot of unboxings today. I get to ink up my UEF. I got to send products out to get reviewed. Ugh, we got all kinds of stuff. I need to get my mouse back so it can click over to this screen. Alabama's fruit is ignorance. <laughs> accurate. Unfortunately accurate. Um, all right. Giveaways. Should make Georgia's peanut brown. I would actually like that better than peach, to be perfectly honest with you. Because how many brown inks are they going to have? 
a good brown ink is good. Um, it could be a little doo doo y color if it's peanut brown, right? It's a little baby doo doo. Um, but I almost would rather that than peach. Peach is showy though, right? Peach is showy, so it doesn't surprise. See, with with white ink, you could at least hey say, hey, we're doing something stupid and weird. We're going to make this white ink. It may not be super fountain pen friendly. And just go with it. Cheddar orange. I don't know that I want to put cheese ink in my pen. That just sounds like a bad idea. Like Deatra Menace. Like, I don't want to put horse ink in my, in my pen. <laughs> Like, I just, like, horse does not go in my pen. So, it's going to be interesting. I, I like this. I like this whole ink series. Seems like they're way behind on it. I think this whole, the whole pandemic, I think they planned on, like, um, almost doing all of those in a year, if I'm not mistaken. But I think we're just going to, like, string it out more now, which makes a lot of sense. All right, we're going to do this first giveaway. This is for a product I've received for review and reviewed it. Reviewed it positively, but um, didn't have a use for it. And it's the, uh, it's the Bellroy A5 leather case. You can see it's been sitting in my closet underneath some things. So it's got a little a couple little dents in there. But this is like a mega nice A5 case here. I think they made it, it's got like all these pockets and sleeves and things. And you get the, you can put the thing in the thing. I don't know. Like it's super cool. I think I have a review of, I think I reviewed it or Jeff reviewed it or something. Um, it's just really nice and it's just sitting obviously i forgot i had it because it was sitting underneath all my all my things i remember it being like crazy expensive like a 100 bucks or something um so it shouldn't just sit in my uh drawer yeah it's no seed case right because like if i'm gonna use this case i'm gonna use a seed case so yeah y'all should have it so let's give it away so it needs to go to somebody right i just don't want y'all like <clears throat> You know, you get uh, you get this case, and then this is a two hundred dollar case. Is it really? Like in the next, like I might give away like a five dollar notebook next. I don't want y'all to get like high on your own supply here. Like this is just the stuff I got. I'm not gonna use it. Like I'm looking at like ten like five dollar notebooks right there. So don't. Uh, how deep of a notebook can you fit in there? I'm not gonna rethink it. I'm not using it. Like, look, it's got dents in it from stuff sitting on it. Uh, I think you could fit like a traditional A5. Where's that? So here's that Nebula notebook. Um, so like it's made for like that and it'll fit right so it'll fit like those 200 page a5 notebooks or like the 300 uh 300 page tomoe river notebooks so it should fit it no high in your own supply says the pen attic yeah a little massage will take the indent out yeah i'm sure like i'm sure it'll just come out all right so let's give it away is this really 200 dollars? good grief that's insane that's probably why i didn't review it so well it's because it was like very nice but I, I couldn't justify the price, maybe. All right, so now it's yours. Giveaways, reset. Bellroy case. It's a really nice, it's awesome if you find the use case for it. I did not have the use case since I work out of the house. And now we all do. Bellroy. Let's call it folio. Bellroy folio. Is it open? Did I click it? Yep. All right. Tap, type exclamation point raffle to be entered to win.
this very awesome Bellroy case. Thank you, Bellroy, for providing this for giveaway. They, um, I'm pretty sure they sent me this for free. I don't know if I bought it. I can't remember all this stuff. I think they sent it to me for free. But it needs to go to a good home. Someone that will use it. Because it's fancy schmancy. And then I'm going to find the cheap... <laughs> We'll find the cheapest possible thing to give away next. <laughs> All right, we'll do two notebooks, and we'll I'll see if I can dig out a pen from the from the bin. One of these days, I'm gonna be able to close the lid on the bin. Fort Worth is on a boil order. Wow, that's crazy. Big PA loaner pen. I'll just grab one of my used pencils. Here's half of a Blackwing MMX. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a good We'll do this one next. This is a good giveaway. There's no bad giveaways. There's only good giveaways, but I like this product. And then I'll see if I can dig out a pen next. 20 seconds left for the Bell Warroy. This thing has a name. I think it's the Folio. A5 Folio. Dent included. The product shot shows a paper boarding pass for a flight. Yeah, it's a, this is a couple years old. <laughs> so that'll do it to you. All right, we have stopped this giveaway. Let's pick the winner is... Coach Albino, let's go. Coach Albino, you out there? Let's go. Mother-in-law is 82 and her home is 42 degrees. Brutal. All right, let me write this down. Coach, you out there? I know you're out there. Email me. I know I have your address somewhere, but still email me anyway, so I make sure it's correct. Um, yeah, hello at Pinac. You you know how to get me. You can DM it to me. This will look good. This will look good on you. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's got pin loop, everything. After I said I use it every day, I have one for my. So you actually have this. And it actually comes in handy. So then, yeah, your wife will love it. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, send me your address. Where does this go? Let's put this here. All right. Next up, a really dang good reporter-style notebook from Wright. I love these. Yeah, it was totally meant to be, that one. Look, you can see me. Look, I'm giving this away, but not with the image of me giving it away on the notebook in the image of that in the notebook inceptioning me like to infinity but yeah this is a just just straight up great product and uh i think when i was pulling all these i saved one for me because it's that good there you go all right so this is reset and while y'all are doing entries for this, I will try to dig out a pen from this bin. This is right reporters. Ready? Go.
How's it coming? How's it coming? Oh, you got like a whole minute left. I'm still digging out stuff. I still have... Wow, that's a nice notebook. I still have like two stacks like this on top of the bin that I have to remove to get inside the bin to give stuff away. That's how much giveaways we have, Chad. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna do, we'll finish up this right, then we'll have a little, uh, we'll have a little uh, back to school special, even though it's like the middle of February, the, the next giveaway, a little fun little fun giveaway next. It's cold Missouri, bundled, heat down, dog shivering. <laughs> yeah, at six pounds, she never not shivering. All right. Where's that? Okay, that's here. done we are done entries have stopped all right this is for this this right 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 pads um pick winner head full of ideas you win writing myself a note and you're going to email me with your shipping address So I can add it to the log of things I got to ship. So these things will either ship Wednesday or Sunday. Those are kind of my shipping days right now. Wednesday or Sunday. What usually happens is I'll say I'll ship them Wednesday. Forget to bring them to the shipping department. And then remember by Sunday to get them out to you guys. So maybe by Sunday I'll get them out. All right. Last giveaway for today. We do need game show music. I should put that on my on my thing because all I have is that when you're wrong. That's the only game show sound I have right now on my soundboard. But I need I need some doody doo doos. I need some uh some jeopardies. Alright. Uh last one is a kit. We're gonna get both these together. So we have the Zebra Midliners, which are killer highlighters. And we have Hello Kitty Uni Kurutoga, so, which is a super dope, super dope Hello Kitty model. I always get all the Hello Kitty models, but like, I don't know why. Like I'll use one of them and then I can't really give them away. I mean, I can't really review like every single one that comes in. So they end up just piling up. So I have a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff. These are really cool. Um, and then a pack of midliners together. So this is this is all for one person. Yeah, this pencil is great. She's sitting on a box. And there's an apple and a mouse. All right, last one. Yeah, and these highlighters are like perfect. They're really, really great highlighters. All right, let me clear those entries. This is, we're going to call this Kuru Zebra. All right. Yeah, these are, these are, highlighters are awesome. Uh, go. I won't sing the Jeopardy song. We need some other, we need some, um, we need some legal theme music. So y'all work on that for me that I can play and not get, uh, taken off of Twitter for. And I'd, it probably just should be like Norwegian death metal. Rawr! 50s lounge music. I like the Norwegian death metal vibe. But yeah, whatever it is, it needs to be um, open licensed so I don't get DCMA'd because they are not playing whatsoever. We will not play the happy birthday song because I will lose my mind. All 
Norwegian folk metal. I could get behind that. Thanks for the awesome stream today. We're not done yet. This will be the last raffle. The final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Oh, I might get DCMA for that. There you go. Rip. Swedish doom metal. This is the move. <laughs> I'll work on that, Kate. I'm in. I'm not joking. I'm in. But we need uh, we need properly licensed stuff. That's true. I could get them to do that, Jerica. Uh, groupies sells it and attribution. Okay, yeah. There's there's some sources out there. I just gotta. I I just haven't put in the time to to figure that out because I would like some intro outro. Um, music just something to play besides the silence like i'm not a i'm not a big silence guy all right oh big, that song is awesome so regardless that's on my uh short list of lots of things play lots of songs playing is a uh, big thief's not i've played that a bunch recently all right pick a winner who is it clark retzer nice so you know the routine can you email me your shipping address to hello at penact.com? And I can write your name on here. This time with the beautifully overpriced um, craft design technology camel pencil. All right, so this is the midliner. Hello Kitty set here. Take this together. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh man. We got so many giveaways to do. I just can't ship them all at the same time. But thank y'all. Like your um like your subscriptions and stuff on here. Like this uh, Fane figure, thank you for the follow. Like all your Twitch Prime stuff, that helps pay for like the shipping of this stuff. So I just uh, I just shipped what like the Doan paper, the ink, some things like that. And I think like f four orders cost me like fifty bucks to ship. So that's where your Twitch Prime funds are going to. So thank y'all for that. Oh my God, it's the famous Brad Dowdy. No way, I know that guy. He's pretty okay some days. But right now, to continue being okay, he needs coffee. He needs more of it. <clears throat> Seabird 1000. Okay, I'll, I just got to do, I got to figure out what the right, what the right move is for the, for the music, for the uh, intro, outro uh, music. So, all right, anything else we need to talk about? Oh, quick update. For you live podcast listeners, I know there's a few of you. We are recording tomorrow, Wednesday, 10 a.m., our normal schedule. Last week we said we were recording Thursday. I had a change in schedule, so we're going to record our normal time. So um, if you're into that sort of thing, we will be recording live 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, relay.fm, to figure out how to listen to it live. So there's that. Um... What else? What else do we need to do? Mm, I need to pick up this room. I can't even get out of my desk for all the trash I've thrown on the floor, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, I'm going to figure out what ink to ship to people that aren't being snowed out, which is a very small list because everyone's freezing right now. Kickstarter update. Um, I have about... 300 of each case in so i got more than enough to um to get started shipping i'm going to try to start this weekend if i can get the uh if i can get the spreadsheet to play nice the csv file to import and ship station nicely that's always the worst tessa thank you so much for your kind words um i'm sorry you've had a creepy week and i do if, if there's anything i can do for any of y'all to make your lead your week better 
let me know. Uh, Sarah wants to see Toby. Uh, I'm going to yell, so I'm going to put him on, put him on mute. I don't know if he'll come. When he gets comfy, he tends not to move. He's not going to, like, bound up when I yell at him. Let's see if he, he actually comes in here. Hang on. I think he's coming. Come here, bud. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, I can't reach you. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here. He's stretching. See, I just woke him up, so he's stretching, he's shaking. Come here. I can't reach you. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh. Oh. All right. There's Tobes. You having a good day? Hmm? I'm just chilling. He's like, I'm just trying to stay warm today. He's just chilling. He's being a good boy. He's all by himself today. Um, there's no one around to play with him. I have to play. I'm playing with him on my breaks and stuff like that, but he's pretty bored today. Whoa. Yeah, he's been sleeping. That was a big yawn, right, buddy? All right. All right. Yes, he does have a sweater. It's just not on right now. He, it is cold for him today. Been freezing today, isn't it, buddy? And wet. It's gross outside. So, all right. Well, if y'all need anything, you know how to find me. If you just need to pick me up, give me a yell. We'll holler. Oh, Miss G's Crafties. Yes, I saw your post. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, that really, really stinks. Mm, I'm feeling for you. So, yeah, give Miss G's Crafties some love. Lost lost her, her companion, her, her pup, this week. So, yeah, I hope y'all have a good one. If you're having <clears throat> any struggles, need any help, need to chat, give me a shout. Because I promise you I'm coming for you if I'm feeling down too. <laughs> it's reciprocal. I'll be like, Mike, you need to help me. Jerrica, somebody help me. Because I will. I will cash those checks. So uh, I'm here for you too. All right. Be good. And um, I'll see y'all Thursday. We'll podcast tomorrow. We'll do this again Thursday. Maybe some inks. I don't know. I have no plans. No plans today. No plans for Thursday. If you want ink samples again, maybe we'll do that. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Anyway. All right. Bye, y'all.